shocking news came out today of Tyson Fury escaping the Yukata ban due to him relinquishing his license in the UK. So by that information, most likely he can't fight in the UK anymore. So he also gave up on a mega fight with Anthony Joshua that could have possibly or most likely would have been the biggest fight in the UK. Man, this man is a genius, ladies and gentlemen, because he relinquished his license in the UK prior to the Deontay Wilder fight. It's almost like he saw this coming a mile away and he heard carefoot footsteps coming before he even knocked on the door. So since he was ahead of the game, he was always one step ahead of Carefoot, even though Carefoot sticked his foot up in old meaty ass, but not Tyson Fury. Oh, nah, 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 nah. Tyson Fury was prepared. He saw this coming because Tyson Fury is always one step ahead of the game. And since he got the complexion for the protection, man, that hope insurance is going to cover everything. But I'm shocked that he gave up on a mega fight against Anthony Joshua in the UK, meaning that fight only could possibly be in the United States, in Las Vegas or New York, New York. If you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. But most likely the fight will be hosted in Las Vegas. However, that's beside the point. The point is Tyson Fury escaped UCOD unscathed, which explains why Tyson Fury and his team have been very quiet when it comes to the farmer allegations since he came with his receipts and UConn was about to have a field day with Tyson Fury. But yet again, Tyson Fury took advantage of the holes in the system in the sport of boxing. See, unlike any other sport, there is no governing body over the whole sport. So Tyson Fury escaped to the US and since he's the WBC champion which stands for the World Boxing Corruption Organization thanks to that Tyson Fury is living his best life he don't gotta worry about UCOD in the UK because see in the US that hope insurance is way more powerful furthermore the WBC organization don't stand for the World Boxing Corruption for no reason not too long ago, the WBC stood by Jimenez, a female fighter, or I should say a boxer, that failed both the A and B samples, which they both turned out to be positive for steroids. And they stood by her to this day, even though the WBO already stripped her of that title since she failed a drug test. However, the WBC don't care. And they labeled her as their champion and they stand them by her. They did the same thing for Canelo. And you best believe they're going to stand by Fury. Right or wrong. Therefore, there's a reason why the WBC allowed the increasing of the computer roll limit a fighter could have in his system. Then turn around and create their own anti-doping organization, which they force fighters to join. And sometimes they will work with Vada. But the point remains, they already increased the computer roll limit a fighter could have in his system. So that's an issue of in itself. But the summary of all of this is the fact that Tyson Fury relinquished his license in the UK, which is very shocking to hear since he has a huge mega fight in the UK with Anthony Joshua and he from the UK himself. So it's like he's abandoning his own people. But of course, he's doing it to save his own self and his own tail. And like I told y'all before, this was the untold story on Tyson Fury documentaries, which was they used the dustiest excuse in the book, using the wild boar as a cover up, leaving that out of the story that got him to depression. Then they blamed on cocaine. And then when he came back, they did the unthinkable by completely ignoring the glove gate accusations supported with logical hard evidence. And now Tyson Fury escapes justice for bribing a 70 year old farmer to lie in court by relinquishing his license to fight in the UK. 
And if you may ask why that is, if all of that went over your head, without a UK license, Fury is beyond the British Boxing Board of Control, jurisdiction, and other bodies are under no obligation to be honored. So like I said, Tyson Fury is free as a bird. He escaped justice. So there is a trilogy match, ladies and gentlemen, if they ain't do nothing about that and he escaped that in particular, bribing a 70 year old man, allegedly, then you already know the glove gate accusations would not even go through. So with that being stated, I'm still shocked at the fact that Tyson Fury relinquished his license. However, drop your comments below, subscribe below. If you're trying to get smarter by the minute, if you're trying to get dumber by the second, don't. And listen to these decaf slash old media. Shout out to DBN for being the entrepreneur of new media that I'm a part of. And if you're a casual fan and you want to be a hardcore, all you have to do is attend the IQ University every Sunday live on Split Decision. It's a boxing debate slash talk show where you could go from a casual fan to a hardcore just by tuning in. By clicking on the notification bell to get notified every time we post to go live on Split Decision free tuition so attend to see the pound for pound number one the past present and future are key if you want to debate call in it's my pleasure i appreciate every single one of my our keys this is the boxing brotherhood subscribe below click on the notification bell follow lunatune boxing for the funniest boxing memes and to be continued on the next episode of our key our key our tv peace and we out here